Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it is going to be our Christmas edition. I'm going to be vlogging all of our Christmas Eve and Christmas Day to share with you guys. I like looking back on these videos and I figured we could spend the holiday together, but I also just wanted to say I am so happy you guys are here. I hope you have a great holiday with your family, friends, loved ones. I hope you have some time off of work and that you can really enjoy your Christmas. I am so grateful for you guys watching this video. I love making them and I can't wait to share my holiday traditions with you. So pretty much I have to get started in the kitchen. We are going to my mom's Christmas Eve party tonight. So I need to make a pistachio pudding pie, which I will show you guys as well as a buffalo chicken dip. And then I really wanna clean up the house, kind of get some things organized, go through the gifts and start packing the car. I feel like every time we leave for my mom's Christmas party, it's like five years in a row now, I feel rushed and I forget things. So I'm gonna put the gifts for my family in the car. We are going to go back over there tomorrow morning, but it's really nice to just have them in advance and put them under the tree. So I will bring you guys along with that. And as long as I can remember to pick up the camera, you will see the entire day. So let's get into it. Giving you a little overview of what I'm making first, I am actually going to do some pudding pies. So this is my favorite pie crust. If you can find the light version, that is really good too. But I just had to go with the classic gram this time. That is what was left. I was a little late going to the store. And then I'm gonna be making two different pies. The first one being this Oreo cookies and cream. I haven't used this filling before, but it looks amazing. And I figured I would try something different. And then this one, I have made pistachio many, many times. I have videos on my TikTok if you guys are interested. I've been making this one for years. I got this recipe from my mom. So I am super excited. But really all you need guys is the pie crusts, um, the two different pudding mixes or one, depending on how many you're making. And then I just like to do 1% milk and it has to be cold and then essentially a measuring cup and I will show you guys how easy this is. So I'm just starting off with taking the graham cracker plastic out because we're going to put the pudding mix directly into these crusts which is super easy. You guys can just take this piece out and repeat it for this one. I keep the tin foil base to keep the pie in place but just this part easy now what you want to do is of course read the directions to make sure all of the puddings are consistent i know the pistachio one needs two cups of cold water or cold milk sorry yeah two cups of cold milk and this one needs two cups as well so i'm gonna get two different mixing bowls so that we can keep these separate and i will be right back all right got the first bowl and let's start with the pistachio one like I said, I've done this one a hundred times. It's the exact same directions. Um, the Oreo one just looks like bigger to me. And I put the pudding directly in the bowl like this. Cool. I love pistachio. I've also done the banana cream one a lot. Cool. So it's literally just a powder. And then you wanna go in, cold milk, two cups of it. I would recommend doing fat-free or 1% milk. I think it just mixes really nicely. Perfect, and dump it right in. And it's gonna create a beautiful green color, I'll show you guys. And essentially you just whisk it. now. When you are whisking, you just wanna make sure that you get all the chunks out. It really goes to the bottom. I'll show you guys what it looks like when you first do that. It's like a really watery green liquid. So just whisk it, get all of the chunks, and over time, the pudding is going to thicken slightly. I like the pistachio because it actually has nuts in it, which is pretty cool. And really give it a good whisk. And then once this is gonna, done, I'll show you guys, I just dump it in the pie crust and you put it in the fridge to chill. I try to let mine chill for at least three to four hours to make sure it's really thick and it just kind of cuts nicer. So if you had to do like two hours, it may just be a little harder to cut. It's not as firm. And we're just gonna keep whisking. Now that all the chunks are out, I am going to pour this directly in my it's gonna be watery 
And that is literally it, guys. I am going to put the topper on in the fridge just to make sure nothing hits it. So you can just reverse it so it was like this, reverse it. And I pinch it down so that it sticks. And then pop this in the fridge. So it is about 10.30, I think, 11 o'clock that I'm filming this. And I'm going to leave it in the fridge until at least 3.30. So going into Santa's workshop, this has kind of gotten out of hand, guys. We have gifts all on the floor and gifts all over here. We did the wrapping for each other and our families last night, as well as I just feel like I have a ton of stuff from work and Santa Paws came. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna wrap all of these. We went a little crazy. This one is from Marshalls, which is always a good deal. Um, so is this guy, I think he's so cute. But PetSmart had buy three, get two free. So we kind of went a little crazy. We got this one. We have some snake action. It's a cute panda. And these are like pretty good quality. Um, where are the other ones? Oh, we got this rabbit thing. So I am going to bring my mom's dog, Motley, one of these because we do not need this many for two dogs. Oh, yeah. And Kong balls, which is crazy. So I need to figure out what to do with these for Hank and Maeve. It is so funny. I will insert a picture here. They knew these presents were in here last night without even seeing the bag. I wonder if they can just smell the toys in PetSmart. But we did twice. We didn't do any more bones because they literally have like 6,000 bones laying around the house. I need to figure out that stuff. And then essentially, I just need to go through my pile and see what I can bring to my mom's tonight. We open gifts, Tyler and I, here. And then we go to my mom's early morning tomorrow for a brunch. So I can kind of just like pick through what's my mom's, what's my brother's, what's my stepdad's, and go from there. I try to mix up wrapping paper. I don't do it like one person gets one. I try to give each person a different cute um, wrapping paper. Although now that I'm looking at it, I think I did most of Tyler's this blue um, snowman. But I love this mistletoe one. This pack is from Target. I talked about this in my last vlog and I really like the pastel colors. So I can't put these under the tree. Hank and Maeve will actually chew them and open them, but I'm gonna spend some time going through them and start packing the car so that we are not rushing around. I look like a crazy person right now, but this is real life. I washed my hair last night. I'm still obsessed with the Redken um, shampoo conditioner and hair mask, but I feel like my hair is very fluffy. So I am going to get started in the bedrooms and just get some things cleaned up. But I wanted to say how beautiful is this Christmas tree? I feel like when December ends, I'm ready to put the decorations away because it's been so long. But then I think of how much I'm gonna miss just having those lights. I love how tall our Christmas tree is. But the train is passing my house. So you guys are probably gonna hear that in the background. I'm gonna put the camera down, get some cleaning done so that the rooms feel better. And then I will take you guys to make the Buffalo chicken dip with me. I'm going through some packages I ordered. This will be the next video. Stay tuned. I've been promising this for so long. My bachelorette haul. I finally just got the uh, last things I was waiting for. But please, some appreciation for this bride cowboy hat. Beautiful. I will leave everything linked below when I film that video. I promise it is next. If you are a 2023, 2024 bride, you will love this video. But I'm so excited. So I've just been collecting some pieces, cleaning up my office space here. And look at this sweatshirt one of my friends gave me. Future Miss Stalin, which is my new last name. I'm gonna be wearing this on our flight when we go to the Dominican Republic in a week and a half. But that was a really sweet Christmas gift. So I've been compiling my stuff. Stay tuned, this haul is coming really soon. But back to cleaning up this mess because I need to get it organized to feel normal. Moving on to the next dish we are bringing is the buffalo chicken dip. So I have always used canned chicken. The dogs are going crazy right now. They can smell this. I just think this works really well. So you want to take two canned chickens, drain it, and dump it right in your crock pot. You could technically also bake this, but I've always done the crock pot. And then once that chicken is in, you can add two, three cans. I am going to be going in with a whole thing of Mexican Fiesta blend cheese, um, which I think works really well with this. You could also do a taco blend. And I'm gonna dump this whole thing in. We like it really cheesy. And then from here, you wanna let your cream cheese soften and have this be the last thing you put in on top. So I'm just doing this less fat one. And then lastly, you're gonna go in with some Red Hot Original Sauce. If I can get this open this way, 
and put that right in. I also do a touch of ranch. I have to get out of the fridge now that I'm thinking about it. I do like less than half a cup. Um, some people do blue cheese. I don't personally. I'm not a fan, but if you guys like that, you could also do a touch of that. And we're gonna give this a really good mix. I'm using this baby crock pot my dad gave me um, just because I feel like when I use my other one, it looks really empty. And we're gonna give this a good mix. You can shred that chicken better if it didn't come really shredded in the little can. And then I like to let this sit on low for like three or four hours. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done, of course. I'm gonna put that ranch in, get this cream cheese put on top, and then let it sit. Super easy. Everyone likes it. I'm bringing Tostito scoops for people to dip with, but you could also do like peppers, something healthy, celery sticks, anything like that. It's probably not a good day to try something new, but instead of putting regular ranch in, I ended up doing the zesty ranch sauce, mild. I feel like this is going to be so good. So I did that. I didn't do the whole thing. I did probably about like this much of it. And then added my Frank's Red Hot, put my cream cheese right on top, and I'm just going to let this sit. I'll let you guys know how it turns out, but I feel like that has to be a good combination. We'll see. It's either going to taste weird or it's going to come out great. But if you don't want to take the chances and you're in a hurry, you can just do regular ranch or blue cheese without any zesty flavor. But I do feel like this will be a really good pairing and hopefully it's good. We are just getting in the car and rushing to mass. We always run late going to my mom's house. I don't understand why. Tyler just ran in the house to get LCR, the game, because we forgot it. But I will show you guys my outfit when I get to my mom's after mass. But I just did this chunky H&M sweater and some leather pleather pants, black boots. I like how bright the sweater is. I feel like it's something different instead of a dark green or red. But we are running late. I'm going to put the camera down. We're going to rush into mass and then I will pick up with you guys at the dinner. So you get so no one right. Nice carrot on my vlog. Can you sit? Yeah. Get, no, I didn't ask you. Okay, okay, can I ball? Can I ball? Can I ball five bucks? Okay, there's a carrot. You're a good boy. Our Christmas ice. What do you call this mold? It's pretty cool. And you just freeze it. Good morning and Merry Christmas. We are in the car. We just got our coffee, headed to my mom's house to open gifts. It is 7 Eleven. And we are tired. We went to bed at like midnight. We watched, um, what was that movie called? Spirited? Spirited. The new Willie one Cameron. with Ryan Reynolds and um, Willie Carroll. Well, yeah, it was okay. We didn't really realize it was gonna be a musical. So we watched some of that, we went to bed, we gave the dogs one gift, and now we are back here, literally like 10 hours later. Mm -hmm. So we will bring you guys in with us as we open our gifts and see what we got. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Santa came. Look at all of these beautiful presents. <gasps> Santa brought the stocking. Molly, do you want your Christmas present? Look at this. All the pretty wrapping paper. My mom has such a pretty tree. Are you ready? Ready. It says. Look at that. Wow. Oh, you have to get a close up. Look at that. It looks so good. Oh my That's gosh. Awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Mom and I plugged That's it a perfect farm. And it's it's nice. Is it nice? It's, it's, it's nice. awesome. It's super bright. It's it is super nice. The font is love perfect. It. I love it. It's actually it's awesome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> this one is the egg casserole, right, with sausage and cheese. And we have Christmas cookies for breakfast and French toast casserole. It looks amazing. 
Okay, it is later in the day. We just got home and we're finally just hanging out. So I figured I would film a quick little what I got for Christmas and show you guys everything I got today. By no means is this bragging. I just love watching these videos and seeing what other people got. And I think it's also really fun to look back on. So I figured I would show you guys. The first two things I wanna show you are from Ulta from my mom. And this is a skincare sampler. There is some full size in here, which is really cool. It comes in a really beautiful like holographic bag. And I was super happy about this because I always want to try new skincare. And then kind of staying in a consistent theme, she got me the perfume sampler. So essentially, if you don't know, you get 11 different uh, perfumes and then you get a larger size. You get to pick which one after you sample them all for this little thing here. And this is an awesome gift. I feel like I've been trying to find a new perfume and this will give me the opportunity to see what I like and see what I don't like. So that was really sweet of her. Um, moving on from my brother, he always gets me awesome coffee pods for our Nespresso machine. If you guys haven't seen my videos before, I am really big into Nespresso coffee. So Tyler got me two packs of, um, two kinds. So he got me two gingerbread, which is this one. We love gingerbread in this house with like vanilla creamer. And then he also got me this new one that I think is Vivita. I've seen this all over the internet. So he got me two of each. I am so excited for coffee. This is always a good gift, especially if you have someone in your life who has an espresso machine. I'm excited to have a good stock. Moving on, I wanna share some of the things that my Tyler uh, fiance got me. It's always so confusing with brother Tyler and fiance Tyler. But the first one being these really cute Nike sneakers. I am obsessed. I've been working out a ton preparing for the wedding. So these white ones are perfect. I love the silver detailing and I don't have a pair of white sneakers. So I'm really excited. I feel like these will match with everything. I have to be careful to make sure that I keep these nice and clean, but this was a really awesome gift. I was so excited to receive those. Moving on to one of my favorite gifts I got this year is a base weekender bag so i'm gonna back up so you guys can see the full thing i just got like the cream one it has really nice detailing it's bigger than i thought in person which i'm so happy about there is a shoe compartment at the bottom i'm gonna be bringing this to my bachelorette trip so i'll have to show you guys how i use it but you put your shoes in at the bottom and then the top is absolutely huge this was such a nice gift that tyler got me i was really looking forward to this hoping i would get it on christmas and it's gonna get a ton of use during our wedding year of 2023 with all of our travel. So the base bag is awesome. I will leave it linked down below if anyone is interested. Inside, I put some other stuff from my mom. She got me these really cute, awesome, oversized hair clips. I love pink and some scrunchies, some velvet ones. We've got some different patterns. These are really cute, um, either on your wrist or holding your hair actually. Love scrunchies. She got me this really cute uh, headband from Target. It's this really nice pink. Count how many times in this video I say really cute or really pretty. But I've been obsessed with these headbands. You guys know I've been talking about them, so that's exciting. And then she also got me winter hat. I believe this is from H&M. And gloves, which is another good find. Both of these are from H&M. And it's just the cream and the gray. So that was super awesome. I'm always excited to get things like that because I feel like we could always use a new set. And as for the other things I received from my parents, we did get a lot of wedding stuff, which I want to show you guys. So I'm gonna insert some pictures and clips here. My mom bought Tyler and I this awesome neon sign for our wedding reception that has our new last name. And then she also ordered our guest book, our cake topper, and her basement is full. So we've been actually storing all of our gifts in my mom's house. It'll make it really easy for when we have to drive to the wedding. So everything we buy, we end up bringing there. Um, I will have to bring you guys there eventually because I want to do a haul of everything. But for now, I will insert those pictures so you guys can see what we opened up this morning. But moving on from my grand parents i have an awesome popcorn maker and they sent us like popcorn and butter the kernels and everything to go with it you make it on the stove i think this is the cutest nicest gift ever we are so excited to use this maybe today now that we're just hanging out but again a really nice classic another gift from tyler is cups but these are awesome cups and i am going to actually put cricket prints on them so I will show you guys, they are clear tumblers with lids and straws. And he knows I've been kind of showing him, oops, the ones on Etsy where people make like the smiley prints and the awesome vinyl. 
So he got me six of these to make my own, which I thought was really special. So another nice project to work on, great. I am so excited. I had so many really thoughtful gifts. I feel like of things I briefly mentioned to people in passing, which is awesome. My mom got us Yahtzee. So we have been really into games. We actually have Monopoly today as well. And we are missing Yahtzee from our collection. So super excited about that. And then lastly, I will grab the last two things and show you guys. We have so much stuff to put away, but Tyler got me this awesome at-home workout set. You can make a bunch of easy equipment with it. So we're gonna go through the box tonight and set this up in the basement. But going over here, my cousin Sam sent me the cutest bachelorette stuff. She cannot make it on my trip so she got me this really sweet bride bag i'm definitely going to be bringing this as a beach bag and then she filled it with some goodies some of them are missing um she got me sunglasses and stuff but this adorable wifey tumbler i will 100 be using this for work all of the time and then she also got me um bride straw and some other sweet things, which brings me into my next thing. My dad got my flight to Nashville, which was really sweet in April, but then he also picked me up some of these Hallmark ornaments, these little rain um, dogs, which are the Basset Hounds, so one for Hank and one for Maeve. My mom got me a nail gift certificate, which was super sweet, and an awesome mug from my friend Lexi, so lots of good stuff, and now we have to put all of this away because it is literally overflowing everywhere. We ordered our Christmas lunch. Lunch. Usually we go to like three, four parents' houses, but we're being pretty chill this year mm -hmm. and we're happy about it. So we did sesame, chicken, pork loin. Pork loin. And what else did you get? This looks good. Uh, we got chicken fried rice. Wow. We're these we people. Chinese on white Christmas. White rice, white rice. Yum. Sweet and sour chicken. Yum. This looks delicious. Lunch and right. dinner. <laughs> pretty much. Okay, now we're going to eat and chill. Okay. I cannot believe Christmas is over. I'm taking my makeup off. I'm in the bathroom and I figured I would use some of the new skincare with you guys. We had such a relaxing Christmas. We stayed in our pajamas the entire day. We were actually gonna go to the movies tonight. We decided to stay in, which was really nice. We took the dogs to the park, even though it's freezing out and just hung out. So I need to remove I didn't even have foundation on today, just mascara, but I feel like my skin just needs a total cleansing. Um, so I put the, I know this is so bad for your eyes to tug that hard, but I put the under eye patches that came in that Ulta kit in the fridge to get those cool. And then I figured we could wash our faces together and then use some of the new skincare and give you guys a little review. There's a ton of different products in there, so. Okay, that's kind of good for now. Okay, so pretty much Lululemon Scrunchy. These things are the best. And I am going to wash my face with this. This is my favorite. It's so good. I just got a brand new one. ice rolling my face this is not new I've had this for over a year now this thing is awesome from Amazon it is super affordable and I feel like with the Chinese food and stuff we ate today and alcohol and cookies and chocolate this really helps plus drinking a lot of water but now that this is done and my face is washed I am going to use these are patchology surf chilled bubbly eye masks um, and they have orange in them. It looks like these are them. Place one pair of gels on to clean under eye for 10 minutes. Okay, I'm massaging the rest. Let's see. Oh, they smell so good, guys. Like oranges. Okay. I'm just gonna put them there for now. Right. These are nice and thick. Ooh, that's awesome. Let me put them on the right way. Okay, cool. There we go. I have such puffy eyes. This is what they look like. They blend literally right into your skin. So I'm gonna let those sit for 10 minutes before we give a review. 
And then in the meantime, I was going through the bag of stuff. And a lot of this is actually cleanser that I'm not going to use yet because I just washed my face. So Juice Beauty, this is a cleanser. Um, this one was a cleanser. This was an exfoliant cleanser. Um, this is a body cleanser, so I'll use that when I get in the shower. I'm trying to see. Body scrub, cleansing oil, cheeks and balance. Okay, so yeah, frothy face wash. A lot of this is really good face wash stuff. Proactive, it looks like exfoliator. Okay, so because I already washed my face, I think I'm just going to go in with a moisturizer. So do we use the Ultra Repair by First Aid Beauty or the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream? I think I'm gonna try the Kiehl's because I know I've tried the First Aid Beauty before and I loved it. So open it up. Very minimal scent, cute. Ignore my broken nails. I need to get them done next week. And let's do this. I'm going to kind of use a lot because my skin is really dry right now. This was such a good kit. Shout out my mom. Okay, and then I'm just going to rub this in under. Ooh, this is nice. I could have probably waited for the patches to be able to moisturize my whole face. So I'll do some more after. But that is awesome. Okay, while my face is doing its thing, I'm gonna do this lip mask. It's the Laneige one. I feel like this is very well known. Um, I actually got these for my bridesmaids to put in their travel bags, and I kept the two left over for myself. So it comes with this really cute wand, and this is literally, guys, the best lip mask I've ever tried. I feel like I left their color dry. Awesome. This is in the color of the, the clear or the scent. Flavor. Berry. Cool. It's gonna bring my lips back to life. We're feeling pretty good. I gotta pack all this stuff up so I have it still, but this was a win. I'm excited to try this stuff tomorrow and see how it works. But so far, so good. These eye match, these eye little patches feel great. I have, oh, that's one that's sliding in my face. I was talking to my mom this morning and we were looking at the pictures we took yesterday and my mom, my brother and I have the same puppy eyes. I don't know if that is like a genetics thing, I would assume, <laughs> we're tired, but we all noticed it, so. We need to do some other eye work. I'm going to let this sit essentially for 10 minutes and I'm going to take you guys to make some tea. I think Tyler and I are going to play Yahtzee. It's like 8 o'clock at night and we are kind of at the phase where like we don't want to watch a movie. We don't want to go out. So I think we're going to play games, maybe have some wine. He just ran out to get eggnog. I am not the biggest fan of eggnog, believe it or not. So he had to go get some to spike and then I'm either going to do wine or tea. We'll see, but I'll bring you guys along with me. Okay, it's been over 10 minutes. We're taking these off and we'll do a little review. Oh, nice and glowy. Actually looks good. That and the moisturizer together, wow. I feel like my eyes are actually a little less puffy. You guys will have to compare to the last clip, but I'm pretty impressed by these things. The little bubbles in them. It was like 11 minutes. Okay, we'll see how long that actually lasts, but I would buy these again. I feel like my outer eyes are just much brighter than they were and smoother. Pretty cool. Nice. One, four, three, five, six. That would so, make a good straight. Six, five, four, three, two, four. Yeah, but I have both of my. Oh, I need a large tree. Yeah. Six, five, four, three, two. So you can either take your one or your six and try to roll two. I'll take the one. And we need a two. Mm -hmm. It's risky, kind of. Yeah. Well, no, because you still have your chance. True. And that's the best. Two. Nice. <laughs> okay. So. Large trick. Got it, which is 40. Yeah. 
That was really lucky. Yeah, it was. Two fives. What'd you get? Two fives, six, four, one. I'll take the fives. You're gonna go for the five? Either the fives or full faithful house. Aha, full house. Nice. We got lucky. So you got two or three twos. Wow, I really have to start hitting these ones. I you just ones. got a full house? Mm -hmm. Two sixes, two ones, and a two. <clears throat> I think I should go for three of a kind. Or your sixes, yeah. Or sixes. Yeah, so go for sixes either mm -hmm. way. Two fives and a two. Uh oh. I just gotta get one. Mm -hmm. Crap. Nothing. Two sixes, two fives, and a four. So you can either do your sixes or you can do your chance score total of all five dice. You just roll all five again? No. Then you take the total. That it's on the thing now. Yeah, I'll do that. That's pretty high. Okay. Yeah, those are pretty high numbers. You got two sixes, two fives. Yeah, so 10, 22, so 28, or 26. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good score. 26 chance. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, we just played six rounds of Yahtzee. My eyes are drying out as I hold my phone, but I did win, and that is awesome. I beat Tyler. But I wanted to conclude this vlog and just say Merry Christmas and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm going to have a ton of videos this last week of December into January, and then 2023 is going to be amazing. So like and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next video.